What's up, family? A uh, bit of sad news in the entertainment industry. We have uh, Cuba Gooden Sr., the father of Cuba Gooden Jr., who was found dead in his car yesterday. It goes like this. Cuba Gooden Sr., the lead singer of 70s soul group Main Ingredient and father of actor Cuba Gooden Jr., has died at the age of 72. The star was found dead in his car Thursday in Woodland Hills, California, officials said. His body was slumped over the wheel of his Jaguar, but there were no suspicion of foul play. Anonymous sources told the LA Times that drug paraphernalia and alcohol containers were found in the car. Born in Harlem, New York, the star received his unusual forename from his father, Dudley McDonald Gooding. He told my mother that he would name his firstborn son Cuba because he once lived in Cuba and had positive feelings about the country the musician told the North Dallas Gazette in 2015. He was encouraged to pursue a singing career by his family. My mom and dad were determined that their firstborn son would do something in the arts if I had the talent, he recalled in a 2014 radio interview. Being born in Harlem had its advantages if you wanted to be an entertainer because it was literally the entertainment capital of the world. I lived literally only eight blocks away from the Apollo Theater and 19 blocks away from Carnegie Hall, although Carnegie Hall required a little bit more sneaking in the back. Growing up, he saw the likes of Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra, Sam Cooke, and Jackie Wilson play on his doorstep and resolved to become a singer in his own right. The other members of Main Ingredient, Tony Sylvester, Luther Simmons Jr., and Donald McPherson, with childhood friends, but Gooden Sr. initially declined to join the group, having set his sights on a solo career. But as the band started to achieve success, he helped out with backing vocals and stepped up as the lead singer following the death of frontman Donald McPherson in 1971. Under Gooden's leadership, the band scored their first million seller, Everybody Plays the Fool, which led to future hits, including Happiness is Just Around the Bend and just don't want to be lonely. In 1972, they recorded an album, Aphrodisiac, which featured several songs written or co-written by Stevie Wonder. But by 1977, Sylvester and Gooden Sr. had both left the band. Gooden Sr. signed with Motown Records and released two well-received but commercially disappointing albums. He later rejoined Main Ingredient and worked with them through the 1980s. His son, Cuba Gooden Jr., is an Oscar-winning actor who appeared in films including Boys in the Hood, A Few Good Men, and Jerry Maguire. The star had three other children with his wife, Shirley Gooden, Omar, and April, both of whom are also actors, and musician Tommy Gooden, who served as the musical director of his father's touring band. So, Big time, big time fan of this man's music. Uh, Everybody Plays the Fool and Just Don't Want to Be Lonely, like two of my all-time favorite songs. Great songs during an era of like great music. It was like when that music was coming out back in the 70s, even the 80s, that music, I mean, it was like they couldn't miss. It was like those were like, the, I believe the 70s, 80s, I believe that was the greatest, the 70s especially, I believe that was the greatest era of writers. I mean, these, these people poured their hearts into that music and all of that music had substance. All of it had meaning. So this dude was very much a part of that and, and I know most of y'all probably don't know who he is, but, you know, he paved the way for a lot of people, you know, for him to be as large as he was, it's a trip because a lot of us, we don't know him, but we know his son. We know the fruit that that tree produced and, and what a hell of a fruit. <laughs> I mean, you have greatness producing greatness and, you know, he produced 
Cuba Gooden Jr., who in his own right came along. Can you imagine being the son of somebody that prominent, that famous? Because when Cuba was born, his daddy was still pretty much the shit. So can you imagine being in his shoes and trying to carve out his own lane and saying, okay, I'm going to go this way. I'm not going to be a singer. I'm going to be an actor and I'm going to do it my way. That was huge. And they, and also Omar, his son Omar has been in a lot of movies. Y'all probably don't know his name, but Omar Gooden, he is really good too. Uh, he's a really, really good actor. He played in Boys in the Hood too. I believe that was Boys in the Hood. Well, I know he played in a number of movies, but uh, the, good, the guy is a good actor. Uh, they come from a real good, talented family. So uh, my condolences to the family. He definitely, definitely would be missing. This is another huge void in the in the music world, especially the soul music world. That dude was, I mean, look the songs up, y'all. Look, look him up. First of all, look up Main Ingredient because they got songs and songs and songs, not just one. They got a lot of great, great, great songs. But, you know, as they mentioned, everybody plays the fool and just don't want to be lonely. Those are two of like the all-time, all-time greatest ever songs and when you listen to them, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you know, hopefully y'all didn't look at that title when y'all first uh, read it and was thinking like that was Cuba Gooden Jr. Because like, that's what I did. When I first saw the title, I was like, whoa, you know, kind of the, the wind kind of left me for a minute. But, you know, it's still bad, but it's always worse like when you have um you have a parent who has to actually bury his own child so you know that's the that's like the only good thing about it is that he didn't have to bury his own child but yeah it's still a tragedy you know to just to look up and see that you know, somebody who did so much and meant so much to so many people. I know some of y'all don't know, uh, and this ain't for y'all, you know? If some of y'all got a, got a problem with that, uh, I don't know why, why the hell people have such a problem with people recognizing somebody when somebody go. Like, I remember this dude saw a post that I made. I, I think it was, yeah, it was Charlie Murphy. And I was just saying, you know, man, I was just acknowledging the dude's death. And this fool posted, who cares? Like, la, la, la. Well, when you do something with your life, a lot of motherfuckers care. And even if you ain't did nothing, you got people that care. Even if it's just the person that posted See, some people on this damn social media are so damn disrespectful that they can't get out of their own way. They just wake up mad. Oh, they just wake up mad. Can't even respect the dead. I'm, I'm you know, there's certain people that that die. You know, I, I'm looking forward to like Bill O'Reilly. I can't look. For, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop a bottle when his ass die. But y'all know what I'm saying. Overall, man, you know, I mean, respect that. You know. You know, the mama care, you know, his mama cares, you know, his children care. You know, I know his mom is deceased, but his children care. You know, his friends care. People who depended on him care. That's who fucking care, you know? So, and if you do actually get out there and do something, you actually go out there and do something amazing, then you're going to have even more people going to care. It's, it's people that care about that man that he's never met in his life. I mean, I'm one of them. You know, it's people out there that, that's going, if you go out there and you make your mark, you do something incredible, people are going to take notice. They are going to salute you. And that's why this dude's death is being covered in the media. You know, mainstream media ain't all over it like I think they should be, but there is enough mention out there for people who is on the up that know what's going on, that's in the loop, to know that, you know, we lost another soldier. We lost another great soul singer. So it is out there. So, you know, I salute the people who covered it. A lot of times when you've been in the game and you 
been laying low for a while, you know, you don't you don't get the respect that you deserve, you know, in passing, you know, especially if you haven't been hot for a long time. So, you know, I salute the people who who covered the story and, and gave that man his, his props. And, you know, I salute y'all for checking out this video, man. And, uh, you know, if you didn't know who he was, hopefully I educated you today. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order from Texas.